Welcome to Jar Your Mind. My name is Joey, and today we are going to do a short reading, and then we are going to meditate and imagine on the concept of seeing a person for who you want them to be. Maybe it's even yourself, and it's not who you want them to be in reality. It's who they are in your imagination, and your imagination creates reality. It is the only reality there is. We're going to go right from the reading into the imagination. And when we do that, I want you to set an intention if you're going to uh, contemplate yourself or another person. And truly seeing the Jesus that they are, the God within them. So let me read this and then you'll get a better sense of where we are and then we're going to go right into the imaginal act. Neville Goddard, The Art of Believing, Chapter 7, The Greatest Prayer. Imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire, and then you believe it to be true. Every dream could be realized by those self-disciplined enough to believe. People are what you choose to make them. A man is according to the manner in which you look at him. You must look at him with different eyes before he will objectively change. Two men looked from prison bars. One saw the mud and the other saw the stars. Centuries ago, Isaiah asked the question, Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, as blind as the Lord's servant? The perfect man judges not after appearances, but judges righteously. He sees others as he desires them to be. He hears only what he wants to hear. He sees only good in others. In him is no condemnation, for he transforms the world with his seeing and hearing. The king that sitteth on the throne scattereth the evil with his eye. Sympathy for living things, agreement with human limitations, is not in the consciousness of the king because he has learned to separate their false concepts from their true being. To him, poverty is but the sleep of wealth. He does not see caterpillars, but painted butterflies to be. Not winter, but summer sleeping. Not man in want, but Jesus sleeping. Jesus of Nazareth, who scattered the evil with his eye, is asleep in the imagination of every man. And out of his own imagination must man awaken him by subjectively affirming, I am Jesus. Then and only then will he see Jesus, for man can only see what is awake in himself. The holy womb is man's imagination. Neville Goddard So when you are ready, close your eyes. Go to a peaceful place that you are comfortable and at peace in. Start to note all of the feelings in your body and all that surrounds you. Relax into this moment, noting all of the details of what you are seeing. Maybe you're in nature or maybe you're in your favorite room. Wherever you are, put yourself there now comfortably, calmly, and peacefully. Breathe in and out. Steady breaths as your body continues to relax into this imaginal act. You are feeling more and more at peace and better and better with every passing breath that you take. from your head to your shoulders, down your legs, you are relaxing. And if you have any tension in your body at all, you take note of that and then let it go. Just as you're letting every thought one by one go. every thought, one by one, fading away, 
in this place, in this peaceful place within you. Continue to breathe in and out. And now, with the intention of seeing the Jesus within you or within another person, I want you to create an image of this person, whether it's you or another person. And that light is shining within them. And you see in this moment, in this place, in time, in timeless time, you see this light shining, overcoming any darkness, overcoming any question marks, overcoming any earthly ideas. You see them and the light begins to overcome their entire being. And it is penetrating in around and through them now and lighting them up. You see this and you feel this. You're watching this and it feels amazing to know that they are pure light. They are pure energy. They are pure love. And you see that now. You feel that love, you feel that energy, you feel that light, and you feel that perfection within them, within you. What do you see? What do you feel? when you know this light to be the reality of everything. Let's sit in this silence of light and love and understanding. Let your imagination relax into this moment, live into this knowing that you and whatever and whoever you are looking at is Jesus, is light. However you see it, let's go there now.
You continue to radiate in the energy that is flowing out of you, through you, in you. And as you look upon this person, you feel all of the enormity of their being, which is one of perfection, which is one of purity and light and goodness. There is a connection building bigger and bigger in this moment. Whether it's a reflection of yourself now that you are seeing, whatever it is, that connection is growing stronger and stronger and you are feeling the power that is within you and that is you. Whatever you see in your imagination, whatever you feel, all is well and you are powerful and everyone around you is a reflection of you and you choose to see the light and the perfection and the Jesus within them and within you. Radiate in that light right now for another couple minutes. Radiate in the feeling of that love right now. When you are ready, feeling so much better than before, you can slowly begin to come back to the now and open your eyes. <laughs>